Oh, last Richmond game. Uh, yeah, round 17, I reckon, 16, 17. Oh, look, they were, uh, they were right in the middle of their run, to be honest, at that stage. They'd got in some really good form. You know, we, we understand that they're elite players, you know, that they've got through their midfield and their forwards. Certainly, they're, you know, some of their, their, their key backs. They're just a really good team. We, we knew that. They, I think they won 15 games last year. They had a bad start to their season. The qualities of that at the football club, uh, we know are very good. So we, we learnt that the, our best is going to be needed again to, to come out on top on this game. Okay, you pretty good at coming up with a theme. Do you have a new theme for this final series? For us? Oh, I know. We look forward to the opportunity, the challenge that's there in front of us again. It's part of uh, where we've been. You know, last year we we probably um, snuck up on the competition a little bit, got in, got into the finals, and this year we've we've you know, we've certainly held our spot in the in that group at the top of the ladder for a long period of the season. So we look forward to seeing whether we uh, can show the improvement again. It's a different feeling now with that expectation. Oh no, it's not no different. First week of the finals is always the same. I reckon you, you know it becomes in our position. We whether you're eighth or fifth, it's cutthroat. You know the, the heat's on, and you need to play. You need to play absolutely great football to come away with a win. Ken, those elite midfielders pulled out from Richmond. They spend a lot of time forward as well as in the midfield. How much more dangerous does that make? How much harder to sort of curtail them? Yeah, we. Well, not sure whether they, they they're just dangerous, aren't they? Just dangerous players, and uh, you know they're going to take a bit of work for us for our midfield, for our backs, you know, to, to try and control them as best we possibly can. I think the, the best thing we'll do is if, if we can get our hands on the ball early and hands on the ball first in tight, that will help the ball go our way and that's certainly the best way to control any of that stuff. You spoke about belief here before over the last couple of seasons. So nine in a row, how strong is that for them? Oh, they'll be, they'll, be, they'll be really up and about. There's no doubt they'll, they'll be very confident about what they've been able to do. They've gone to Sydney, taking on the biggest challenge in the, in the competition and come away with a win. You know, when most people were probably predicting they wouldn't. So they'll, they'll and they'll look forward to coming to Adelaide. They they were only over a few weeks back, played Adelaide, I think, over a few weeks back, and went went home with a win. So their confidence will be sky high. Our confidence is okay too. Is there a particular way to sort of blanket that confidence early in a, in a game? Yeah, as I said before, I think getting our hands on the ball early and and making sure that we're controlling the game the best way we possibly can. We and we know that there'll be moments in the games where. They will have some control, we'll have some control, but more often than not, we've just got to make sure we get, get our hands on the ball first. Yeah, you said on Saturday you'll pick a side that meets the opponent, at that stage of the game it was, now it's Richmond. So what sort of team do you need? <laughs> yeah, exactly, we need a team that's going to be able to, to beat Richmond. Look at, our team won't change much, obviously, our team will be pretty close to what it, where it's been over the last three or four weeks since we've had uh, our, you know, our two tall backs back in the side. You know, we, we certainly had some challenges uh, on the weekend just gone with Ballantyne and Walters who were a little bit different to what Richmond probably throw up at us. Last time you played it was a really high scoring game. Is that work in their favour? Would you want it a bit tighter this time? Oh, we're a really good defensive team. You know, I think we, we finished third over the course of the, the 22 home and away games that we played. We're third in defence, so we want to make sure we're really good defensively and that, that, that will be our strength. If we, we can get our defence right, that will go a long way towards winning the game for us. It won't be about us trying to um, you know, kick a, a new score, record score, and it'll be get our defence right, work off the back of that, and then hopefully we can still put a score on the board that wins. So is it a different most challenging then in terms of that defensive game because of the three big blokes that they've got? I didn't get the first bit. For, for that defensive game to work, is it challenging with Richmond because of the three big tall forwards there? The, uh, yeah, no, not, no, I don't think so. I think defence, I mean, I think they've got Griffin, they've got Jack, and, and they play in the midfielders a little bit more there. I don't think that they've probably got an extra tall that's going to cause us too much problems in, in, that, in height wise, if that's what we're talking about. No, I think it's, defend, our, our defence is usually, you know, we, it's based on getting the ball and going forward and, and trying to pin it in our half. Okay, last year went in the finals as the chaser to some degree, underdogs against uh, Geelong and Collingwood. This year you finished higher, I guess, Richmond are chasing you. Does that change the dynamics of your mindset at all? No, nah, no, it doesn't. I mean, whether we went in as underdogs or not underdogs, and, you know, uh, last year we went in. I think we're getting in the back of a loss in the last round too last year. We're going in the back of a loss again this year against a quality opponent. You know, Richmond are nine zip where you know we've won four of eleven or something, I think, in the in the back half. So those things don't worry me. I, I don't care if one bit about them. I just go out there and uh, make sure the team's prepared best we possibly can to play our best footy this week. Trevor put AC's question to you. Is it different from the player group being the hunter, I guess? No, I don't think so. I mean, um, you know, we go in there. Uh, trying to play our best footy and, and, and I think that's the way we look at it. It doesn't matter where we are on the ladder. If we bring our best defence then um, you know then we give ourselves the best chance of winning the game and we don't 
worry about where we finish on the ladder or um, you know, if we're going in on underdogs, we just go out there to play our best footy and, and that's what we do as a playing group and, and hopefully we can start well and um, you know, make sure we, we uh, you know, put it in for four quarters. Different feeling about this morning now that it's ticked over to September? Uh, it's pretty exciting. Uh, it, was, it was a bit. It was a bit of a weird feeling. I, I guess losing on the weekend, and um, you know, we, which is obviously pretty disappointing. But then we're going to look forward to this week. I mean, it's finals time now, uh, and 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 the group's really excited about it. So we move on from from the Freo game and, and get excited for for finals footy and and, and to play Richmond on on Sunday. Travis, what's your read on that number that Kent just pointed out? Four of eleven for Port Adelaide, but it's nine from nine for Richmond. Um, oh look! Obviously, they're in fantastic form, um, and you know we're going to have a big challenge for us on Sunday. But I think we're playing some of our best footy uh, towards the end of this season, and uh, we're going to go in with a lot of confidence. But we understand that it's going to be a big challenge for us. You still read that four and eleven as another figure that looks as bad as it does when you just say four from eleven. Was that for... Okay. Sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a trap. That number four from eleven, it sounds you know pretty dark. Four from eleven. Four wins from the past eleven games. You don't read it. No, nah, no. Nah, I'm really comfortable with our form. I think we're in really good shape. We've just taken on again the biggest challenge. One of the biggest challenges in the comp going over to Perth and playing. You know, we let ourselves down for about twenty minutes. Cost us a run of goals. We haven't given up all year, and uh, we still lose the game by a kick and a half. We're ready. We're okay. And there's a large uh, former Port Adelaide contingent in the Richmond coaching box with Choco and, and Hardwick and. Laid. Is that interesting subplot? Obviously, does it give them any sort of advantage at all that they would have special knowledge of some of the power players? Ah, I'm sure they have. Matty Thomas is there as well. Yeah. You know, from in my time, Matty was was here last year. So yeah, they've got plenty of knowledge. We've got look, competition says you've got knowledge on every team you play against. Doesn't count for much. Uh, on game day on Sunday afternoon, it'll come down to the the, the 22 that take on their 22, and the best side will come out on top. For anything at all? No, I don't think it does. I, I think it's overrated. I don't think we, we. What do we know? What what don't we know? I know when we certainly my, my team that I've left the, from the closest time was the Gold Coast Suns. It doesn't mean anything playing the Gold Coast Suns if we were to play them. What do I know about their players in a couple of years or and for their coaching staff as you talk about, they haven't been here for I don't know how long, you know, and and they're not going to know what goes on as far as internally how we prepare. They'll have an an understanding of some player strengths and weaknesses in, in their views, but each player's improved on our list, I think, in the last couple of years. And you've got Matty White, obviously, from Richmond. Do you use him at all this week, or you don't need to? No, no, it's a game. We, I mean, I've talked to Matty about their players. In the first time we played them, we talk about some of their players and some of their, I suppose, their strengths and weaknesses and get some idea of that. But again, once a game starts, you, I'm, not, I'm not even thinking about what Matty's telling me, to be honest. I'm thinking about how we're playing and what we need to do. And with Matty, obviously, ironic that... Um I assume he's fifth this week. Yep. yep. Ironic that sort of he didn't play any finals in, in Richmond now he's coming here and going to get a final with you guys against Richmond. Yeah, it's exciting. I mean, there's a couple of them out there, isn't there? There's a couple of players. One at the Chappie from them playing against us and we're playing against, and Whitey's playing against them. So it's just part of the build-up, I suppose. It'll be a little bit of fun. How good has it been for you guys, Matty? And, and has he sort of exceeded your expectations? In his first year. Oh no, he's played his he's played his role really well for the club. There's no doubt we, we got him for a, a reason and he's brought every part of that to the club and you know, he'd be reasonably satisfied with where he's been able to get to this year in his in his own personal form and uh, we're really happy that he's come and added to our team and collectively he seems to have improved us as a club. How do you feel about wearing the away strip um, at Adelaide Oval on Sunday? It doesn't worry me. It's a fact, it's what what it is. We don't we don't choose. I think that's the key message with that. So we don't choose when we play, where we play, and who we play at this stage. It's it's all given to us, and we just we just our obligation is to go out there and perform at our absolute best, and we'll do that. Travis, uh, Ken mentioned Troy Chaplin as another link between those two sides. Um, you made a point about his some of his celebrations during that last game uh, when you played him. Does that will that add any extra spice to this game? You think? Oh, probably externally it might add add a little bit, but um, I mean. Uh, we'll just we'll just worry about beating Richmond uh, this week, and I mean it was a bit of banter after a game, and uh, yeah, it might add a little bit externally, but for us we're just worried about uh, getting the job done on on the Sunday. It's it's ironic, though, though, isn't it? You sort of heard, from where you were at that time, you've ended up in the same game in the first week of the final. Yeah, so I'm I'm sure you've been pretty pretty happy with this season, the way they're going. They're, look, they're in fantastic <laughs> form, um, so it's going to be a big challenge for us, and, and we're excited for it. Is there any personal feeling though, isn't it? Bit personal. Yeah. Uh, look, it was just a bit of bit of banner after a game. And, 
Um, and that was that was pretty much all it was. So it'll be exciting on Sunday. Travis, what, about, what about the stuff you said earlier, particularly to you guys through an email and text? Yep. Oh. Uh, Oh, look, at the time it was it was pretty disappointing, but uh, look, we, we've both moved on, and um, you know we're just worried about this weekend now, and uh, that's all in the past. Ken, are you disappointed that you didn't make the top four? I mean, it's the position where you were from the start of the season. I know you got focused on this week, but do you feel like you let one slip there? Um, not not so much let one slip. I'm disappointed we we couldn't finish higher, but I'll be disappointed we didn't finish higher until we get to one. That's just a fact. That's what we're chasing. We're, we're chasing to get to become the, you know, the best team in the competition, and we know we've got to keep going after that. I think we've, uh, you know, over the course of the season, we've shown good improvement in parts of our game. We've had, like everyone tells me, you, you do have times throughout the season where it's not actually going the way you'd like it to go. I think we've recovered. I think that's a great step for us too. We've been able to recover that and now get back to playing some of our really good football again. Do you think you can buck the trend of winning from outside the top four? I'm going to have a go. And these blokes are going to have a go with me. I think it's going to be a bit of fun trying, and uh, you know that's what we're going to try and do. But someone rightly points out, some stage someone's going to be able to do it, and uh, we're going to have first crack. We're going to have a try at it. And when, you, when you signed up, you signed up for four years. Are you, are you ahead of where you thought you'd be? I mean, did you think that it would take four years to get where you are? Oh you know, sort of? uh, no, I, we're not ahead of where I thought we'd be. I think you, you never know what. What's a capable? What you're capable of achieving until you go out and have a go at it. So I just want to take what comes in the, on part of the journey. And it's still a journey, though. We're still trying to develop parts of our game, and we've seen that again on the weekend against Rio. There's still parts of our game we're still trying to improve, but we 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 want to get to be the best team in the competition as quick as we possibly can. We're not going to set a timeline on it. Apologise if that's a problem, but that's what we're going to do. We we're going to try and get there as quick as we can. Yeah, oh, look, if we can get 50-odd thousand, it'll be fantastic. I mean, um, you know, the game against Carlton on the Friday night, they made a huge amount of noise, and all year they've been a, a um, you know, a big bonus for us. So I think, uh, you know, from our point of view, we'd love to have 50,000. They're making the, the noise they have all year, and I think it can make a, a you know, a big difference for us. Is it annoying True. that Richmond get a bigger slice of the pie this time? Unlike that before the home game? What's, what's that with? Their members get, like, early access to tickets. It's finals. It's great that they get to buy their tickets. We get to buy our tickets. Uh, port people all, uh, port people all drown them out. I'm sure. We'll take over the, we'll take over the portress again, and we'll we'll make sure we're nice and loud. Okay, there's there's a, a, quite a wait between finals for you again, to play them again last year. So where are you better having had that experience last year now? Oh look, I think um, the experience that we gained from playing. Uh, you know, against big sides, Collingwood and then Geelong at the MCG. Um, they were big games for our group and I think since then we've played this year in, in some really big games as well, obviously Frio, um, Hawthorne, Geelong. Uh, and they're, 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 that's great for our group to, to experience those games and I think that's the big thing we've got out of it is um, you know what it does take to play in finals. It is another step up and uh, I think a, another great um, advantage for us is playing free on the weekend. Uh, you know, obviously quality side over there, the pressure they bring, and it's definitely finals like. And for our group to experience that, I think uh, we're a step forward in that area. How close to your best were you on the weekend? Oh, look, I think we we certainly weren't at our best, um, probably, but not far off. Uh, there was, <coughs> as Ken mentioned, there was parts of the game that that, that really did let us down. And uh, look, I don't think uh, we're too far off it though. Um, I think the last few weeks has been a uh, and a great stepping stone in the finals for us, and uh, we've just got to continue to walk in, work on our defence. That's where it all starts. If we can, we can bring our best defence on the weekend, then the rest of our game flows from there. And um, you know that's what we we're trying to do, and, and we're certain we'll bring on Sunday. And it was also one of your best starts for a long time. How's that turn around, which can be so critical on Sunday to make sure that that you're on the best foot from the beginning. Yeah, and, that, and that's a, a certainly a positive for us to, if we can start like that on the weekend, it'll be, a, uh, you know, especially at home in, in front of our home crowd, it'll be a great advantage for us. And it was, it was great for our group to start like that over, over um, in, in Perth against a quality side. And uh, we'll certainly need to bring that again on Sunday. But was there a trigger for it that you from it? Oh, look, there's, there was no different preparation, I guess, uh, before the game. It was just a, a big moment and, and uh, you know, our group, we're, we're ready to go, and that's certainly the the, um, the way we'll need to be on Sunday. Ken, Robbie Gray was very good again on the weekend. He yep. won the Coach's Award last week. Would he be a, a worthy winner of the Brown last week, feel that way? Yeah, look, there's no doubt. There's no doubt that he'd be a worthy winner, and uh, he's had a great season. But uh, you know, again, Robbie would be the first to tell you he's just a reflection of the team and what the team brings. He he survives off the back. You know, on the weekend he survives off the back of 
this bloke getting Crowley on his back and you know it's team care that that makes us good individually and collectively as a, as a team that's what happens and Robbie be you know he's had he's had an outstanding season again you know, if you're going to go into trying to predict those other types of awards they're pretty hard but clearly from a coach's point of view we thought he was the best player in the competition over a consistent season Can Angus in the green best on the weekend what was the thinking behind that Oh no, it's just the way we, we thought we'd get the best advantage for what we wanted to do. We thought Jake needed been playing really good footy in the front half for us too. We wanted to match, for the, for the team we played, we wanted to match their bigger body midfielders a bit. So we had we left more Maury alive in the game as well as uh, you know Ollie and those sort of blokes. So we just thought it was the right team balance for us. He took it well? Took the news well? Oh yeah, absolutely. He's part of our leadership group, Angus. He doesn't have any problems with playing a role on the team. He just accepts it as whatever his role is on the day. Travis, what really changes? Uh, look, I think the intensity of the game is probably the big one that goes up another level and um, I think we spoke about it after the Geelong game last year that where we lost the game was our contested ball and our, and our skills and that's something we really focused on over the pre-season and, and again it's going to be uh, you know critical for us going to, into September there. The, the game just goes to another level, uh, you know, obviously you've got the best eight sides in the competition and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to be a part of again. Dresser talked about it a bit before but last year you had not much expectation going into September. This year, once you finish higher, more wins, you've had a better season. Does it feel like there's sort of more to lose, if that makes sense, going into this? Oh, look, I think we had a lot of expectation going into last September, uh, last September and uh, it's the same again. Uh, you know, we want to go out and play our best footy and uh, what Ken always says, we, we get what we deserve and, and that's what we, we're going in with. And, um, you know, we'll prepare the best we can and, and go out there. Uh, we know we're up for a big challenge, but we'll go out there knowing that our best is good enough. I shared some good lines about Oh, look, we had a pretty lean patch through the middle, um, and that's that's uh, you know it's probably why we finished up where we did. But uh, look, and now September, uh, it's it's another ball game, and uh, again we've got to go to another level as a group and uh, continue to improve. And uh, as I said, yeah, we'll, we'll get what we deserve in September. Last couple guys. How important is the crowd? And um, I think there's only standing room left uh, at the moment. Good. I hope they're all poor people <laughs> buying up the tickets. Oh no, it's important. There's no doubt. There's a significant advantage. We felt that on the weekend. We, you know, and I, I heard Ross say after the game when he, in his press conference that the, the Fremantle crowd, their players certainly grow off that. Our players, no doubt, grow off the support of their of their crowd. And uh, you know, that's, that's why you you know again we've had this opportunity given not given to us. We've deserved the opportunity to play our home game in a final and that's what we, we should make the most of that if we get a chance and hopefully our crowd join in. So on that Travis, how much difference does it make as a group in your race now that you've kept that routine of the rudimental club song and then that in excess with the anthem, is, is that going to be tangible for you on the weekend? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it does give you goosebumps when they do when they do play it and, and, the, and the crowd sings and uh, I mean for, the, for us to start uh, with, with that um, noise is, is fantastic to run out to that and, and certainly a great build up but then the crowd just continues to get louder and louder throughout the game and uh, you know certainly three quarter time uh, when, we're, when we're starting to get a run on to in late in quarters it's uh, you know crowds always up and about and it certainly does give us a, a, a fair a fair edge I think. Good decision then by the AFL. So it's final is it? Oh, I, I yeah, don't no, even know it's yeah good. it's all well, final yeah look, I think it's well, it's great for for us. We're um, you know, we're we're happy with it, and uh, I, I guess our fans will be pretty pretty pumped with it too. So it'd be fantastic to see. Is that an example of where it can work for you, Ken, and against the opposition that you have that real home ground advantage? No, that's that's what you get. I mean, you you finish fifth, you get a home home ground. You get an advantage. Sydney get a home ground advantage. Um, Hawthorne get one, and so do the Kangaroos. But this one seems to go to another level with what you've done at the Oval this year. Oh, I think if it's your your home ground advantage, yes we understand the AFL run the final series, but it's your home ground advantage and what you do at home, you know, within reason should be able to be put out again on, on the first final, I think.